on my belly. I am not well. Oh, I am never eating cake again, you guys. Entire cakes are a sometimes food. Oh, you know who also eats too much? Kirby. And let's check out his new game, Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. Hmm. Oh. Soft spot for Kirby. I love how creative they get with the look of his games. Kirby's epic yarn on the original Wii used a woolen design that was refreshingly unique. And now they've given him this adorable claymation look in the rainbow paintbrush. Negative. How can you say he's adorable, Hex? He's all squishy and he doesn't have anywhere near enough shiny chrome or lasers for my liking. Well, actually, lasers would be pretty handy for Kirby because he's got himself in trouble again. All he wanted to do was enjoy a nice apple, but then suddenly, these magic hands swooped in and sucked all the colour out of his world. But luckily, he finds this friendly new magic paintbrush to help him colour everything back in. What surprised me most about the game were the touchscreen controls. Bizarrely, you don't have that much direct control over Kirby. Instead, you paint lines with the stylus, which creates a path for him to follow. And if you want him to change direction, you'll need to paint a new line to block his path. With a bit of practice, these painted lines can solve many platforming challenges. Uh, they allow Kirby to roll over gaps and to reach tricky collectibles like stars and extra lives. Or you can also tap him with the stylus to do a spin attack against enemies. Or to break parts of the background. The drawing controls get the job done, but I've got to say it was a big adjustment for me. I'm just so used to regular platforming controls that not being able to use the thumbstick and the buttons felt a bit weird to me. Yeah, I know what you mean. It does make this feel a lot more like a smartphone or a tablet game, doesn't it? Especially since you can use your finger instead of a stylus if you want. And because all the action is on the gamepad, you're not even looking at the TV. Yeah, and at first this was worrying because I thought maybe this is just an overpriced smartphone game on the Wii U. But luckily, as you progress through the game, things get much more creative. Oh, affirmative. Uh, there are underwater levels where you need to contend with strong currents pulling Kirby along. Oh, and you'll be painting safety nets under him when he's bouncing through the clouds. Oh. Uh, then, when you're inside the pyramids, there are lasers you need to paint around. I didn't see any lasers the last time I visited a pyramid, but if you ask me, all games and pyramids should have lasers. <laughs> Good call, Darren. I also liked the super move Kirby can unleash. It lets him smash through enemies and even metal walls to nab treasure. Ah uh, yes, so much sweet loot. But guys, it was the co-op play that made this game for me. I was so glad to be able to take a break from the sketching and play as Bandana Waddle Dee. Platforming with him was a breeze because he can use a standard controller for precise jumps and attacks. Oh, we should also mention that Kirby can transform into vehicles. <gasps> Excellent point, Hex. Uh, at key moments, Kirby's spongy body can be reshaped as a submarine, a rocket, and even a tank. Oh, pew pew! Uh, and best of all, you can also use your paintbrush to guide his rockets around corners. So much destruction! <laughs> Apparently you can use Kirby-specific amiibos as well, but we couldn't test any of that out. What did you think overall, Hex? Well, I'm a bit torn. On the one hand, I really liked that they made use of the gamepad's touchscreen, but like you, I also missed the precision of a controller. In the end, though, the sheer creativity just won me over, so I'm giving it three out of five stars. Hex, I agree with everything you just said, and I'm also going to give it three. 